Hello everyone. I am Anuj Nakade and you're watching Live Law. We bring you daily updates from courts all over India. In order to stay updated, please subscribe to our channel. In this video, we bring you news of a very important judgment from the Supreme Court regarding preventive detention. Preventive detention is a very controversial power given to the executive branch of the government. Under several Indian laws, the executive branch has the power to detain or arrest a person in order to prevent them from committing a crime. This power is validated by the constitution in Article 22.5 and is usually justified as a way to prevent serious crimes which may relate to organized violence. You may have heard of such preventive detention in the news when it is done under acts such as the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act or UAPA. This case arises because of a preventive detention under the Conservation of Foreign Exchange and Prevention of Smuggling Act. The story of the case is quite interesting. A series of raids conducted by the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence or the DRI recovered nearly 85 kgs of gold in connection to a syndicate of Chinese, Taiwanese, South Korean and Indian nationals. In the arrests made by the DRI was a shop owner. The DRI had found 5 kgs of gold in his shop and hence he was preventively detained that is he was arrested to prevent him from continuing to commit a crime. It is important to note that the order detaining the shopkeeper was a time-bound order, meaning the DRI could detain him on the basis of this order only for a limited period of time. As a matter of procedure, the shop owner and his advocate were supplied with documents on the basis of which he was detained, as it is his constitutional right to get them. Some of the documents provided as a matter of right to the detainee were in Chinese and hence were illegible to the shop owner. The shop owner then approached the Delhi High Court, asking the High Court to quash the detention order as the rights and procedures guaranteed to them in the constitution were not provided. However, the Delhi High Court refused to quash the detention order. After that, he was released temporarily due to the demise of his father. Soon after, the expiry date of the detaining order arrived and he was released from detention permanently. After being released, the shop owner approached the Supreme Court with an appeal against the Delhi High Court's judgment. A two-judge bench of Justice Krishna Murari and Justice V. Ramasubramanian heard this appeal. The Supreme Court categorically stated that providing illegible documents to a detainee while they are under preventive detention is a massive violation of their constitutional rights. The court also made a statement that the government has the responsibility to be absolutely rigid with the procedure in matters of such preventive detention. The court said that the protection of individual and civil liberties is the most important constitutional duty of the court. The court said, and I quote, the courts in circumstances of preventive detention are conferred with the duty that has been given the utmost importance by the constitution which is the protection of individual and civil liberties. That's all we have for you in this video. We hope you liked this report on the very important judgment by the Supreme Court regarding preventive detention. To know full details of the story and to read the judgment, please visit our website. We will also ensure to leave a link down in the description to the full article and the judgment. Please leave a like if you found the video informative. Please also ensure to leave a comment letting us know how we can bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.